Hey people, I am the Broken Puppet, and welcome back to my drawing tutorials. Today we're going to draw this exact dragon claw you see in front of you, and this is part of my Dragon Week, so there's seven videos on how to draw dragons, so feel free to check those out as well. So we're going to start off with the basic skeleton of the hand, or the claw, to understand how it works. You know, because a lot of people don't understand how the joints work and how it kind of fits. So we're going to start off with a little circle, or a little line off it. That line will be going back into the arm, or the leg. A little line's coming off of that to a circle, and it's going to be roughly around the wrist kind of area. And off of this, depending on how many sort of things you want to do, add that many circles. So this one's going to have three fingers, so I'm going to have three little circles based around this circle. Off of each one of these now, I'm going to create a curved line to another circle. It's going to kind of like the knuckle kind of area. Do the exact same thing for all three of those in the directions that I want it to go. Off the end of those, I'm going to do a slightly shorter line, go into another circle. And this is basically leading up to where you're going to put the claws. And the claws going to be two sort of curved lines coming downwards off of that. So that's the basic sort of principle now. So you can see when you put a skin around it you can see roughly how it'd look. You know that's the idea. That's the skeleton underneath the skin. To give an example here you've got three different ones, three different angles, the exact same principles, the exact same build up at different angles. And with the skin around it you can see roughly how they work. Like I said you want more fingers just add an extra circle around that wrist bit and do the exact same off of that. So I'm going to do like that large big one we saw at the beginning now. So I'm going to bring a line across to a circle. Line down to three little circles, just like we've done before. And the same sort of principle, we're going to bring three curved lines, just coming off of those to other circles. And then two little ones coming off to the claw parts. So the skeleton's pretty much the exact same as we've done before. You know, so once you've got the skeleton there, you can kind of work out. You, know, you have to understand that underneath the hand, it's going to be very curved, like very circular. And the top's going to be very angular. So again, understand the muscles and the kind of position they are. I'm sketching some circles here to give you a rough idea. So underneath the base three circles we've done, some larger circles kind of get the bumps, around the joints, some other ones, and some little ones just kind of thrown in randomly around here and there. And then once you sort of draw a little edge around those, you get this really nice bumpy texture underneath. Now the top of the hands can be very different. It's going to be very angular. So around the knuckles, I'm going to do these sort of triangles and box shapes. You know, really kind of sharp to the point. And then when you join those up afterwards, like so, you can see you get this very kind of angular top. So the idea is you want curved at the bottom, angular on top. You know, because it's like scales on top, you know, flesh underneath. Just go over there with your nice line work. So I've just gone over there with a nice big bold black. And once you've got it done, it's going to rub out that line work. So we don't need that no more. So just get rid of that line work to begin with. And what I'm doing is I'm going to sketch in this line. Now this line is going to, where the, going to be where the scales go upwards. Because you want the flesh underneath and the scales on top. So it's roughly halfway between each finger and each claw. And around the wrist. So you can see there's a little bit of distance there, you want that space so the flesh can show underneath. And basically from that line just curve around. I like to curve from the fingertips going outwards. And just create curve, 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 curve. They ain't got to be the exact same size, they can be very the size, but it kind of fit roughly in that line we've done. And once you've done that, on the bottom part where the circulars are, when it kind of comes to the edges, I'm going to create these little lines just coming off, just kind of give a bit of texture and a bit like, you know, sort of curvature in it. And then throwing some random little lines just kind of in between, just bouncing off around the place. Generally following the direction of the hand or the claw. Once that's done, just get a thinner line and just go over the whole thing like this. You know, so everything we've just done there, just like fine line now. And I'm going to come to the shading. So to start with this finger, you're going to get shading underneath when it comes to an edge, and just underneath each one of those scale bits. And you can bring out the same sort of principle on the top here. So from that corner bit, it's underneath the claw, shading outwards, underneath the scales, like you see here, and that little bit, just underneath that bit. On the right hand side, the right hand uh, claw, you're going to get the same principle. So underneath the scales, going downwards, and curving out and around. Same thing for the back of the hand here, so as it goes up to the wrist and back, underneath the claw, and a little bit just on the bottom, going to get a little bit of sort of shape to it. Now the actual scales you can do a bunch of different ways, but for this one I'm going to show you, I'm going to fill in the spaces, I'm going to leave, leave a little highlight just around the edge, except for the bottom parts. And I'm going to leave a little highlight inside because I don't want to be pitch black, you can make it pitch black if you want, or a full on colour, and there's nothing wrong with that, but for this style I'm going to show you a little bit of shadow and a little bit of shade. So you've got a little bit of darkness in there, a little bit of light. And we're going to put the same principle up for the entire thing now. So just go over the entire claw, all the scales, with that particular style. So you see I've got quite a lot of black coming from the bottom, fading outwards with a bit of light on top. Just to show you where the sunlight will hit around the top. And a bit dark around the knuckles sometimes, and a bit light around there, just to give it a little contrast. Like I see, just around that sort of wrist, but I've got quite a bit of light there. Just where it bends, the light will be hitting that bit quite strong, so just making it a bit better. I'm just running a bit of background here, just to make it kind of stand out. So a big black box, missing a circle in the middle, with some little white highlights just around the edge. Now going inside those scales, I'm going to add this green. Now you can add any colour you want, you know, it depends on what colour you're doing in your dragon. 
you know, this kind of green is a really nice traditional one, so I'm going to go with this. You know, it's a bit of a sort of like faint down green. And once I've got the green now, I'm going to go for the underpart. Now, the underpart, I'm going to do a nice pink, and every now and again, I'm going to do a little bit more of a like sort of purple sort of speck, like a little dot, varying in size. I'm going to do this throughout it, leaving a little highlight on the bottom. So I prefer to go darker with the pink underneath the scales, and as it gets to the bottom, get a bit lighter. You know, I think that works really nicely. To make it stand out, I'm just going to throw the red sun in the background. Again, just leaving a little highlight around the claws and just putting some colour into the uh, into actual claws. So a little bit of a bone texture, so a nice caramel brown kind of fading out from the tips. And that is it, people. That is how you draw a dragon claw. I hope you like it. Check out my videos. You know, as I said, this is part of Dragon Week, so there's going to be six other videos to go with this. This is video number two. I'm the Dragon Puppet, and I'll see you next time. Peace.